What's going on guys? And in this video, I'm going to explain to you four reasons why you need to choose cybersecurity as your industry to get into in 2023. What's going on guys? I'm Cyber Tom. For those of you that don't know me, my channel is all about IT education. If you're interested in this path and you want to learn more, hit the subscribe button down below. So let's just get right into it. The first thing that I think puts cybersecurity above all the other industries right now is going to be your compensation. You're going to start off with a great salary. The average salary getting out of school is around $50,000. For someone getting out of school, this is great money. This is good compared to the average for the average American across the country is only 52,000. So you're already sitting at the average rate as a newly graduated student. This is an amazing opportunity to get yourself and your family above the line of compensation and get what you deserve. Now, there are some things to be said about this as well. It doesn't stop at 50,000. That's the lowest that you'll ever make in most industries of cybersecurity. You're gonna continually go up the ladder, the more experience you get. And sometimes you jump 20, 30,000, $40,000 in salary. These are great jobs out there that pay well, and you can easily see yourself at six figures within a few years of experience. So let's be honest. I mean, this is one of the first things I mentioned because we get up and go to work every day, primarily because we have to feed our families. We have to feed ourselves. Um, we do love the work that we do, but there's another side to it, right? And it's compensation. We can't act as if, you know, you're going to work for, you know, pennies or that it's okay to not be paid well. Uh, that's just not an option, especially in the world we live in today. Things are expensive. So that's why I thought that was number one. Let's move on to number two. On to the next reason why you got to get into this field. From 2021 to 2031 in that 10 year time frame, cybersecurity is expected to grow by 35%. For those of you that are not familiar with job growth rates, the average job growth rate is between five to 8%. So this means that you can have security getting into this field, knowing that in years from now, that your job is gonna continue to provide for your family financially, and you shouldn't have much to worry about when it comes to job growth and cybersecurity. Does that mean that you're never ever gonna get laid off or you know, you're never gonna be in between jobs? Of course not. That is just the way of the world and that is the way of business. Sometimes you'll be looking for work, other times you'll be in work, but you can always count on the job industry to have jobs available for those that primarily have more experience. Also, I have added a new membership only feature for those that are subscribed to me, where you can go into my membership by hitting the join button on the channel and you'll be able to subscribe to become a live only member, meaning that twice a month you'll be able to go onto my member only lives and ask any questions that are just weighing you down that you just need to get answered. Number three on this list is a huge one, especially for a lot of Gen Z and millennials out there. What do we all strive to do, right? Especially in these office type jobs, what do we all want? We all know that we want work from home, right? And that's why it made it to number three on this list because this is a huge reason why I joined cybersecurity because I value my family time a lot. And I think that it is very, very important to be home as much as you can. I know a lot of you also relate to that. And in this field of cybersecurity, most of these positions can be remote. Now, are they all gonna be remote if they can be? No, but if you easily go onto LinkedIn or Indeed, you could see that that there is a large, large amount of remote jobs or jobs that are maybe asked you to come in a couple times a month or something like that. So if you are somebody who is interested in that, and I know it's a big thing for millennials like myself and Gen Zers that we want to look to a future where we can work at home and be there more with our families and be more active in their daily lives. So if this is important to you, then again, a great opportunity to hop in and come 
join us in cybersecurity. Now, I personally work in cybersecurity. It doesn't mean that it's the only kind of IT jobs that are work from home. Um, as a IT professional, you're gonna see yourself, you know, talking about your specific niche. For me, it's cybersecurity, but even if you're a network engineer or doing help desk work, you could still find yourself a job remote. I just wanted to make that as a disclaimer. Obviously, some of us are moving up into cybersecurity and are still at the help desk or network engineer level, and that is perfectly fine. And I just wanna assure you, the remote jobs are there too, if that's something that you're interested in. I really hope that I don't offend anybody with this. And if you are interested in the field that I wanna talk about, then good for you. And I think it's a great opportunity for a lot of people and that there is job growth and definitely great compensation. But for me, number four on my list is going to be cybersecurity is fun. And what is it more fun than software engineering? Okay, so if you're somebody that is trying to decide between software engineering or cybersecurity, now this is just my personal opinion. I did software engineering in college for about half of the time that I was in college. I did not enjoy it whatsoever. I thought it was redundant, very boring, and it was too desk heavy. And what I mean by that is just staring at a screen with the same text on it for hours. It was just not something that was for me. So if you're somebody who is like that or in that same boat, then please come to cybersecurity. It's fun. There is excitement in it when you are able to help others in protecting their systems and their network infrastructures. It's gratifying. Uh, for me, it's more gratifying than when I was doing the coding. That's just my opinion. Like I said, if you're looking in the software development, don't take this as, you know, the holy grail. I'm just giving you a, my personal opinion. Cybersecurity is a fun field. Every day, you're going to have a change of pace. Every day, there's a new technology that you get to learn and you continually get to look for bad actors and stop them in their track before they cause any damage to your infrastructure. If that sounds fun to you, then you're at the right place. And if any of these four things I mentioned resonate with you well, again, I think you're really at the right place and you should be really considering a job in this field and you would probably enjoy it very, very much. Now guys, that's the end of this list. I hope these things that I've laid out here have gone to help you understand cybersecurity in a better frame of mind and to understand the things that uh, really set it apart from a lot of other industries. And it's given you a better high level view of the industry in itself. I'm Cyber Tom. I hope you guys love this video. And again, go over to my channel, hit the join button, become a live only member, and you'll be able to get on the lives every month and ask me any type of questions that you want or that you need to get off your chest. Maybe you even need to ask me a question about this video. So I'll see you guys over there and I will catch you in the next video. See you guys.